Hi students, I am Sonia from Vidya Guru. Starting a new session on current affairs. This session is for the month of July, July 2022. This session is going to be in English medium. As you guys can make out, I am speaking in English. Not a word in Hindi. If you are not comfortable with English, you can switch to that Hindi session that is also there in the playlist. We are going to study at least 50 to 60 new points. So the video has some worth has some worth so you should watch the entire video because each and every question which i cover believe me that is going to be there in your exam for sure like the video if you understand everything share with your friends if they are preparing for any competitive exam and do subscribe to vidya guru's youtube channel if you have not till now please press that bell icon which is just beside the subscribe button that is how you are going to receive notifications of all the exam relevant videos which we upload one last thing before starting this session is in english medium this session is in english medium for our students from northeast india for our students from south india those students who are not able to understand hindi well we record a separate session in complete english medium for those students so i'll start from here on now be focused and please start writing whatever i'm teaching you that should be written the first question is there on your screen now let's look at it now you just have to look at it the way i have presented it the first question which is there on your screen but the topic has to be written as in the topic has to be mentioned the topic is elections and appointments topic wise current affairs that way you are actually able to imbibe everything easily that's how you yourself will be able to classify the stuff whatever you study by those topics you can just place them under this topic elections and appointments look at the first question which is supremely important new chief minister of maharashtra you are already aware obviously you have seen you know for these many days one question is already there you can actually see that but there are many which you are not aware of so let me start with the first question, which is new chief minister of Maharashtra. His name is Eknath Shinde. See, in exams, they may ask you, what is the number of that chief minister? Even such questions are asked these days. That is why when I mention something, even in parentheses, even in, in brackets, th consider that question important. Eknath Shinde has become the new chief minister of Maharashtra and he is 20th numbers chief minister. I am, I think, clear to you guys. Now, Deputy Chief Minister can also be asked. His name is Devendra Fadnavis. Devendra Fadnavis has become the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Look at the third question. Maharashtra's Governor, Bhagat Singh Koshyari. Although you have heard the name of Bhagat Singh Koshyari from me also many, many times, but learn his name, which department, which position he is handling right now, that is actually, that should be learned. So Bhagat Singh Koshyari, he is the governor of Maharashtra. When we move to the next question, please tell me any possibility of skipping such a question. You cannot do that. Believe me, you cannot do that because in your exam, whichever you will be writing, if that has the section of current affairs, new Niti Aayog CEO will be asked, will be there in your exam. His name is Parmeshwaran Ayer. I will repeat that. His name is Parmeshwaran Ayer and I have written the term here as in the duration for two years he has been appointed. What I am saying is new Niti Aayog CEO Parmeshwaran Ayer has been appointed for his term of two years. If you have understood everything now from here onwards you are going to think that whatever I am going to deliver that is going to be supremely important for you. You can't skip even one point keep watching these four questions were there on one page such kind of 17 18 pages are going to be there multiply them that is why i was saying i was being conservative that at least 50 to 60 new points are going to be there are going to be taught when you look at this lady you are aware she is smriti rani when we say women in child development ministry she is already handling that ministry Smriti Rani already has the charge of this ministry, but I am saying she has been given the additional charge of Ministry of 
minority affairs i hope you can understand if a minister is handling one ministry and that minister that union minister is getting the charge of one more ministry it is the news that you have to study so smriti irani you know who is handling the women child development ministry i am saying she has been given the charge of minority affairs ministry also can you move to the next question civil aviation minister we are calling them that way only because they are already handling one ministry and that is civil aviation ministry he is jyotiraditya sindhya he was handling already handling civil aviation ministry has been given the charge of steel ministry also ministry of steel has already been given to him when you move to the third question new national investigation agency nia is dg has become nia is nia has got new dg he is also dg he is dinkar gupta i am saying that new national investigation agency just look at it nia is the organization right i am saying nia is new dg is dg learn it like that that is why probably it, it will actually you know is going to it is going to stay in your mind for longer dinkar gupta dinkar gupta is the name of the person he has become he has become nia is new director general when you move to the next question new ib director ib we are referring to intelligence bureau we all know that so new ib director tapan deka please please try to associate them with their pictures because i really feel i really believe pictures through pictures you are able to retain them well that is why they are on, they are on your screen how are you able to recognize jyotiraditya sindhya how are you able to recognize smriti irani because you have been looking at them often you have seen them often that is why i am saying these people are actually famous people so look at them try to relate them his name is tapan deka he has become new director of intelligence bureau look at the number of questions again four questions were there on your screen let's move to the next question okay guys new president of a uh, financial action task force see when i say t raja kumar everybody knows that he has some indian origin but he is from singapore only that is why in the brackets if somebody ask you where does he belong to he belongs to singapore he is from singapore only i am saying new president of financial action task force because when you start looking at you know this person looking for this person online what will happen everywhere you will find indian origin indian origin indian origin you know this man is from indian origin i am saying all right he is from singapore you have to write it like that only t raja kumar has actually become new president of financial action task force financial action task force the next question is new cbdt chairman nitin gupta central board of direct taxes so central board of direct taxes new cbdt chairman nitin gupta reappointed chief of raw samant kumar goel reappointed chief of raw samant kumar goel new uh, chairman and managing director cmd of gel sandeep kumar gupta and new C cmd of gel is sandeep kumar gupta try to learn their names their names are not very difficult we are familiar with such sort of names now let's move to the next question the topic we are starting here is india in focus the country that we are in whenever you know it is getting discussed for one or the other reason such sort of questions are as we all know that pm our prime minister he attended g7 summit 2022 it was of 48th numbers it was actually it took place in germany the exact location was schloss schloss elmau that's the place which is situated in germany where our prime minister attended this g7 summit it was of 48th numbers the presidency of g7 for this time it was with germany only chancellor is olaf scholz we all know that we have heard about this fellow as well 2023 g20 summit jnk please read that carefully here we are going to discuss something you know different we are saying we are talking about g7 in the upper question now we are saying g20 summit will take place in jammu and kashmir and it will happen in the next year 2023 so learn that 
सेवेंटी फाइव फंडेड स्कॉलरशिप स्कॉलरशिप फॉर इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स बाय यूनाइटेड किंगडम सो यूनाइटेड किंगडम वी ऑल नो अबाउट यू के सो यू के वट यू के इज डूइंग दैट सेवेंटी फाइव स्कॉलरशिप फॉर सेवेंटी फाइव फंडेड स्कॉलरशिप विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स ऑब्वियसली दोज हू आर एक्चुअली बेटर दैन दी अदर्स सो दोज पीपल विल गेट स्कॉलरशिप फ्रॉम यूनाइटेड किंगडम स्कॉलरशिप मीन्स दे आर गोइंग टू फंड द एजुकेशन ऑफ दोज किड्स दोज स्टूडेंट्स सो आफ्टर दीज क्वेश्चन आफ्टर दीज इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव टू दी अदर क्वेश्चन प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इनोग्रेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इनोग्रेशन वेन यू सी टी हब we are referring to technology so that is why t hub t hub opens world's largest innovation campus for startups in hyderabad t hub technology hub opens but that is world's largest innovation campus innovation campus for whom for startups and it has got opened in hyderabad when you move to the next question india's largest floating solar power plants you must be thinking that why do we discuss about largest floating solar power plants all the time first they are floating don't forget that word that is why such a picture is there on water that is why they are floating solar uh, power plants when i move ahead when i proceed with the the point here please understand that there was a news uh, this news actually appeared like uh, ramagundam telangana by ntpc 100 megawatt is the largest floating solar power plant but suddenly what happened even this news came up here the capacity is more you can see that i am trying to convey presently these are the largest floating solar plants india has you have to learn their names i have written the capacity of these two again so that you will be knowing that these are considered the largest floating solar power plants in india kayam kulam kerala by tata power solar systems so the capacity is 101.6 megawatts i'll repeat that ramgundam in telangana made by ntpc capacity is 100 megawatt kayam kulam kerala kayam kulam kerala by tata power solar systems 101.6 megawatt is the capacity i have written the capacity if somebody ask you out of them which one is the you know largest then you can mark them accordingly that is why i have written the capacity here so these are the largest solar power plants india has right now obviously they are making you know more uh, they are coming up with more floating power plants so further we will see there is one more largest projects and inauguration under this uh, this title only india's first airport to run entirely on hydro and solar power delhi airport it is different it is india's first airport to run entirely on hydro and solar energy delhi airport india's first private tourism train and bharat gorav launched from coimbatore to sai nagar shirdi i'll repeat that first private train first private train even that train is actually on you know tourism that what sort of tourism you can see that the picture here as well so tourism religious tourism it is you know going to shirdi only i am saying first private tourism train under bharat gorav launched from coimbatore to sai nagar shirdi now ramayan yatra <coughs> shri ramayan yatra bharat gorav first india nepal tourist train reaches janakpur dham that is why this picture is there on your screen look at it i am saying let's find out the important words shri ramayan yatra bharat gorav under bharat gorav it was here under bharat gorav under bharat gorav the upper one is from coimbatore to shirdi and the lower one is from india to nepal it is basically the first tourist train of that type which has reached janakpur dham they may ask you what are they connecting where are they reaching that is why i have written where has it reached it has reached janakpur dham now so just look at it and let's proceed 
okay from here onwards those students who are not writing banking exams can wait for some time because i'll be you know restarting our current affairs course current affairs you know videos once again after a few things which have to be told to those students who are writing bank exams first students you have to be aware that in banking like whatever is happening nowadays that appears in the exam current banking questions are asked in the banking exams too you even understand that you yourself many of you write in comments mail me i am already aware that you see these many questions whatever i teach you in your exam surely so believe me whatever i'm going to teach you even now that is going to be you know in there in your exam too so focus on that current part in banking sector also the title is banking and financial awareness in which the newer question is campus par digital platform for students interested in higher education by icici bank first you need to understand that such sort of thing should be sponsored should be funded should be start if it is started by a bank they are doing they are investing something what are they doing campus par they are creating some digital platform for those students who are probably maybe moving outside as in going abroad or actually willing to you know uh, spend money here willing to pursue higher education here in india also so that sort of digital you know platform was created by icici bank by this name that is what i'm trying to say in your exam they'll ask you a question about campus par you'll consider it a normal current affairs question but that question should be in the banking sector uh, you know banking awareness section why because it is related with icici bank and you will find it pretty strange if you have not seen the video you will not be even aware who has started campus par and what is it all about it was started by icici bank try to relate that now tie up to digitize last mile cash collection for tier 3 cities basically between airtel payments bank and axis bank i'll repeat that cash collection is is actually uh, you know they are going to take care of it for that they have tied up they are planning to digitize last mile cash collection and who's who's digitizing it airtel payments bank and axis bank they have tied up for the same purpose they are digitizing it they are digitizing it that this sort of this sort of tie up is taking place they will give you the name of one organization like they may ask you that airtel has tied up for cash collection digitization and all that you have to answer with which bank they have tied up so you'll have many options and you have to select one airtel has done that sort of tie up with axis bank when you move to the next question bank assurance you have to first break the word bank and insurance learn it like that i'll tell you what happens you know this sort of agreement bank assurance takes place between an insurance company and a bank and why do they do so obviously bank has existing clientele ex existing customer base insurance companies are actually going to sell their insurance products to the bank's existing customers such sort of arrangement i'm referring to so bank assurance tie up between star health and insurance company with idfc first bank that means star health is going to sell its insurance products to idfc first banks clients existing customers so that's how they are able to sell insurance products to the banks star health and idfc first bank let's proceed with the next banking news okay global health care as you can read the word global that means it is going to be international sort of thing so global health care insurance policy bajaj alliance by bajaj alliance so global health care they may ask you such sort of thing that uh, who offered who brought such sort of policy it was offered by bajaj alliance freeo save digital saving account launched by freeo and equitas small finance bank if you are not aware what freeo is freeo is a new bank is a new bank actually freeo i am saying freeo has tied up with equitas small finance bank so do these two came together for what purpose they actually came together for this sort of digital savings account they these two have actually come together to offer freeo save this names digital saving account they are offering 
they came together for this financial services institutions bureau that is fsib has replaced banking board bureau triple b banks board bureau triple b has replaced by financial services institutions bureau fsib triple b got replaced by fsib so fsib you can break that now f is financial s is services i is institutions b, b is bureau so financial services institutions bureau so financial services institutions bureau replaced banks board bureau to appoint heads of public sector banks and insurance companies basically that is the job that is what they do okay when you talk about fsib they may ask you what do they do what is their prime objective what is their prime you know work what is their prime function what do they actually do they appoint heads of public sector banks they appoint heads of public sector insurance companies only so that is important the important thing you have to learn when i move ahead rbi approves setting up of operation support subsidiary by sbi this is important that sbi has set up its has already set up its operation support subsidiary separately and it has got the approval from rbi also that is what i was trying to tell you question will be asked every question is significant you may have realized it i am not teaching you anything which is insignificant till now please press the like button if you are understanding everything if you wish to study from us we actually provide live classes also we have video programs also the numbers are given below you can dial them and you can join us as well i will start with the next question from here onwards now the heading is sports news now everybody can you know start watching again as you know whichever exam you will be writing current affairs you know they they carry lot of you know marks you can say that sports news principal sponsor for indian olympic association read the the words carefully principal sponsor first somebody is going to sponsor something who is sponsoring it adani sports line is the you know wing which is going to sponsor india's india's indian wing indian olympic association that is the body nodal body basically so indian olympic association at asian games at commonwealth games at olympics 2024 who's going to sponsor them for the same adani sports line is going to sponsor these indian events abroad when you proceed madhya pradesh for the first time wins ranji trophy 2022 by beating mumbai it is not that easy please understand that it is a difficult thing actually beating mumbai so if you are not aware i'm talking about teams only ranji is team event only we are referring to you know cricket so madhya pradesh has won that madhya pradesh for the first time has won that that is actually the question which is going to be there in your exam believe me because ranji trophy question on ranji trophy they ask there are asked in abundance so ranji trophy is going to be asked madhya pradesh has won that for the first time that is why the question the possibility of asking this question is even higher mumbai remained the runner up team man of the tournament was sarfraz khan you can see his picture as well sarfraz khan you will be thinking that he must be from madhya pradesh only no he is from mumbai mumbai's team sarfraz khan remained man of the tournament when you proceed with the next question 2026 fifa world cup host is going to be usa not alone along with mexico or and canada too i repeat that i was saying fifa world cup will be hosted by usa mexico and canada and i am referring to football's fi football's fifa which will take place in 2026 which will be hosted by these three let's proceed with the next question okay here the heading is state news state news startup ranking 2021 by commerce and industries ministry commerce and industries ministry handled by piyush goel we all know that so startup ranking 2021 learn the year as well obviously the year 2022 is going on we all know that but the previous year's data is declared the next year also we all know that that is why we are studying it it is important learn that carefully best performance in category 1 
See, read that carefully. Category one states are there. Best performance in startup rankings by Commerce and Industries Ministry, Gujarat and Karnataka. Kar Gujarat and Karnataka. When you move ahead with the second question, now they say best performance in category B. Category B, we are referring to those states which have the population of less than one crore, which is very less. We all know that. So less than one crore population category B states in which Meghalaya topped it. Top do what? Startup rankings. So understand that nowadays we only and only talk about startup, startup, startup. So you are already aware. The next question is Aurangabad renamed as Shambhaji Nagar. It is actually the thing which can be there in your exam. So learn that carefully. Shambhaji Nagar. What is Shambhaji Nagar? Uh, you know, it was earlier known as Aurangabad. We all have heard about Aurangabad in our history sessions also. So please learn that it is an important question. Aurangabad has got renamed and has become Shambhaji Nagar now. Now Usmanabad. Usmanabad renamed as Dharashiv. Dharashiv, Dharashiv, Usmanabad has become Dharashiv. Navi Mumbai International Airport has become DB Patil International Airport now. DB Patil International Airport, Mumbai Airport, Navi Mumbai Airport has become DB Patil International Airport. The title was state news. If something of, of you know, you can say higher significance, which can be there in your exam, we discuss such sort, sort of, you know, questions, you know, here. That is why the name of some place is getting changed, which is that famous like Aurangabad or the place like Navi Mumbai airport. Everybody travels to that airport. So it is significant. We all know that. So learn the names. DB Patel International Airport is the new name for it. And let's proceed. Here, this is going to be the question in your exam for sure. But be careful when you learn from whichever source you are doing it. I am saying Ministry of Education, Ministry of, Ministry of Education's performance grading index for districts. Learn that it is for districts 18, 19 and 19, 20. Years are also there. Years are also there. So they are referring to those years only in which they are referring to obviously education in these districts. And which districts have topped? The strange part is all the districts, all three districts which have topped these rankings, they are from Rajasthan only and where the Congress government is there. Seeker is the first district. If they ask you which district district topped, topped this index, grading index, by Ministry of Education, then Seeker is going to be that number one district. Learn that carefully. Rajasthan had three, you know, Rajasthan's three districts are there on the first three spots only. When you move ahead, they'll actually refer to top states now. If you are able to see this chart, that's great. If not, I'll tell you. When you refer to level one, if you score state wise, this is state wise, that was district wise. Here we are talking about state wise. Level 1, if you fall in level 1, you should have scored as in you should remain from 951 to 1000. 951 to 1000. But the strange part, you can see no state is there in level 1. They don't have. No state has achieved that level to be in level 1. What have I written here? Top states 2019-20, obviously about education only. Level 2 grade 1 plus plus. Just read it here. Grade 1 plus plus, that means level 2, those who have actually scored 901 to 950, these are the states. And if somebody asks you, Punjab is on top, Punjab is on top. See, when you actually talk about a uh, state or union territory think like that that it is an area which is basically a province sort of i am saying punjab chandigarh tamil nadu kerala andaman and nicobar and no state in level one i've already told you that the concern is out of all these 
when the government of Congress was there, I am talking about that time only, Punjab topped it, Punjab topped it and after Punjab you can see these are actually the places which will remain further. This is the sequence. I have written it that way only. You just have to know that Punjab remained on top out of all the, uh, you will see Rajasthan is on top. Everybody is going to tell you that only. That is why I told you only uh, the entire Punjab is on top, but only the districts of Rajasthan, districts of Rajasthan remain on top and these are the names and not entire Rajasthan. So just learn the questions and let's proceed. International news, new prime minister of Israel. Can you skip such a question? It is very difficult to do so. You can't skip the name of Yair Lapid. He is from centrist Yeshatid party. That is the name of his party he belongs to because the names of the parties are also as. He has become the new prime minister of Israel. His face is there. Yair Lapid is, Lapid is his name. He is from centrist Yesh Atid party. New Philippines president Ferdinand, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Piyush Goel attends 12th numbers. World Trade Organizations ministerial conference in Geneva, Switzerland. Number one on EIU. Just look at it here look at it economic intelligence unit that is what this EIU is EIU economic intelligence units global livability index you need to learn it Vienna Vienna is in Austria that is actually the the place which remained on top which remained on top in this livability index and will be happy because our Delhi is also there although Delhi is on 140th number only please please but it is India's number one because after it Bengaluru will be there if you see more you know places like these but Delhi is on top in livability index so number one on from India's side that is what I mean although it is on 140th number in this livability index now government schemes are there and they are asked in exams we all know that so you, you cannot even skip these questions they are also important a little boring but important outlay of ramp 6000 crores outlay of ramp 6000 crores now somebody may ask you outlay expenditure the money they are going to spend on one scheme ramps full form then the expanded form of ramp is going to be raising accelerating msme's performance msme micro small medium enterprises ramp is for they can even ask you what is ramp for ramp for the upliftment of msme's they are going to make their performances better and for that they are actually bringing they are actually bringing this sort of you know uh, scheme and they, the expense on it is 6000 crores that is what they are going to spend that is the budget scheme to help msmes to offer international standard products and services cbfte i'll repeat that scheme to help msmes to offer international standard products and services the scheme is CBFTE and CBFTE is capacity building. Capacity building first time MSME exporters. If they are making something, the product should have, you know, world class quality. So that is what they are aiming at, that they should export something of that quality. The next thing is Nippon. What is Nippon scheme? Nippon is national initiative for promotion of upskilling national initiative for promotion of upskilling of nirman workers please understand that in hindi when we talk about nirman workers that means we are talking about those people who are associated with construction work so we are referring to construction workers only so scheme for Scheme to train construction workers is Nippon. If they ask you what is Nippon all about? So Nippon is about N and what is that N? N is basically Nirman, Nirman workers. 
that means it is for those people who remain associated with construction work that is why their upliftment will be done by the government they are going to work for them they are going to teach something to them ministry of housing and urban affairs you know is the ministry which is doing it under deen dayal antyodaya yojana national urban livelihood mission day nulm deen dayal antyodaya yojana national urban not rural rural that is this is national urban livelihood mission that is day nulm so under this mohuas ministry of housing and urban affairs training of construction worker will take place by this nipun scheme let's proceed with the next question awards and pageants so we are referring to beauty pageants miss india worldwide 2022 khushi patel from united kingdom she is from united kingdom obviously those you know girls who are you know not living here they are from india they are in uk it's like that miss india worldwide 2022 khushi patel uk miss india winner is sini shetty she is from karnataka miss india 2022 first runner up rubel shekhawat she is from rajasthan ruth ozeki she wins women's prize for fiction the book of form and emptiness so ruth ozeki is the woman she received women's prize for fiction and her writing her novel her book is the book of form and emptiness the book of form and emptiness that's the book for which she has received women's prize what is her name she is ruth ozeki ruth ozeki now we'll look at important days and dates this is going to be the last page for the day i hope you have learned everything if you have not you can rewatch the video you can watch the hindi video as well important question is national doctors day is actually celebrated in the memory of dr bidhan roy you must be thinking if he is a doctor what is so good about it he was actually the he remained you know chief minister of west bengal also he was dr bidhan roy in his memory we celebrate national doctors day on 1st july theme for this year was family doctors on the front line family doctors on the front line international day of cooperatives is celebrated on 2nd july the theme for the international day of cooperatives was cooperatives build a better world cooperatives build a better world world refugee day is observed on 20th june it is not from july i missed you know one important day of the last month that is why i have added it the question is important that is why i got to add that world refugee day is celebrated on 20th june the theme for this year's refugee day was whoever wherever whenever everyone has the right to seek safety so we are going to wrap up here if you understood everything you can press the like button i told you if you could not understand anything you can watch the hindi video as well thank you so much for watching